Got a quick battery test today. These are some AAA cells sent in via PowerX. They are nickel metal hydride, rechargeable, and they're rating them to 1000 milliamp hour. I'll just show you the packaging that they come in. Obviously, I can't do a long term storage test on these cells, but I will update the review later on to reflect any findings that I have charging and storing these batteries. As far as size goes, very slightly taller than the AnyLoop AAA cell that I have. They've also got their specifications on screen, but I'll be doing my own tests on these just to see how they fare. They're not always accurate, the specs you get on batteries. First off, straight out of the pack, they're just over 1.3 volts, most of the cells. So there is a partial charge in the batteries. I would normally charge cells straight out of the pack anyway. Onto the discharge capacity test on the Xstar Dragon, just over 900 milliamp hour on all of the cells which is above their minimum spec. Also did some tests on the internal resistance. It's difficult to keep a cell at one volt because the voltage increases as soon as you take it out of the charger even if you're discharging. The IR is pretty similar to other batteries that I've got. In fact my AnyLoops are almost identical to this. I also have the MC3000 in so I did a quick test on that just to cross compare and the results were very similar from both and likewise for the internal resistance virtually identical results. That pretty much wraps it up, gives you an idea of what to expect with these batteries. Next up I'll be doing the AA cells and I also have a charger from PowerX to look at.